Yes, indeed, Nitro is the glory, but E-Buggy pays the bills. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number three of the No Name RC Podcast News. And it's been a lackluster week in RC, well, in the world, because we all know what's going on in the world. We don't have to repeat it. COVID-19 is just affecting everything. It's definitely affected RC. Lots of tracks have closed their doors. Hobby shops have closed their doors. Pretty much the whole world is kind of shutting down in this time. But there's still RC things going on, which is really cool to see the RC community come together and and do things. But I'm going to talk more about that in this. But before I uh, um, go on any further, I just want to say shout out to all of the No Name RC podcast listeners from around the world. You got Your support is what makes this happen. Thank you to our patrons and thank you to our sponsors. Without you guys, none of this can happen. And I hope you guys enjoy the content that we are te- we're, we're bringing to you guys. We have some cool things planned for this week. We have a nice guest this week on the No Name RC podcast. Shameless plug. I also, if you want to check out something, if you want to hear from one of our fellow RC friends and family that are in Italy right now and what Italy is going through, please check out episode number 67 with Mao from Mao Graphics. He has a message for everybody. I please listen to it with an open mind. There's no agenda. There's no bias. It's just talking to a fellow RC friend, family who's going through a lot of trouble. What's going on in, over in Italy? So please have a listen to it. It's only 25 minutes long, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to know more about Seth freaking Van Dalen, you can check out episode 66. So let's get on with the news. So first up in the news, I think the big news this this week was that Alex Pilsen has sold. Reds Racing Ars, uh, Reds Racing USA. I believe uh, I got contacted by Alex Morelli. He has bought Reds Racing USA. He will now import and distribute Reds uh, products, Reds Racing products. So all of the engines, electronics, everything you need for your Reds engines, pipes, you name it. Alex will be distributing it. Kenny Johnson will continue to be the US team manager. But I predict with Alex behind, he's very eager. Alex is into RC. Uh, he he will have all the parts that are needed and for all the Reds customers throughout America. So kudos and congratulations to Alex Morelli. He's also opening up a new hobby shop slash mobile hobby shop that he, would, that he usually does for tracks. I believe it's called Golden Star. I'm not sure. I have to check. But maybe we'll get Alex on the podcast to talk about it. Next up is the Live RC fundraiser. Now, if you haven't checked this out, it's actually really, really cool. It's really good to see the RC community come together for this. So far, in 24 hours, just over 24 hours, they've raised $54,011. So how this works is basically Live RC went on a collaboration with some some RC in uh, some RC companies within the industry. Let's name them off: Infinity, Proline, A Main Hobbies, Techno RC, TLR, Protect RC. Live RC Associated, aka Reedy Beach RC, J Concepts, Mugen Seike, My Laps, Kyosho, Absolute Hobbies, and Lifetime came together with a collaboration where you buy a shirt, a t shirt, and it has the t shirt actually says, This shirt supports my track. So, how this works is you, you have a, a, I think it starts at 25 bucks, but you have up to 100 bucks, I'm not sure. You go on and you buy this shirt. So how this works is you buy a shirt, choose any price, 25 or higher, whatever you feel you can con- contribute, select your favorite track track from the drop down. You choose to make your purchase public or private. We send you a shirt you proudly wear. All partners shown on this page will add a dollar to five dollars donation per shirt. We send so then the the live RC sends the, the shirt out to um Sends a shirt out to you, and then the check will get the which track you ever which whichever track you choose will get 100% of the profits from that sale of that shirt. So this is how the math works. We they have, apparently they got an amazingly low cost on each shirt. Current industry matching is at $28 per shirt. A $35 shirt order will result in approximately $58 going to your local track. So if you spend $35, your local track gets $58. And they ask, they say as more industry matching partners join in in this project, project, the matching donation will be applied to all previous 
order. So if they get more people on board, more companies come on board, the everybody will still receive the amount of dollars. So like if 10 more, I guess what it's saying is 10 more sponsors, companies come on that each track was each track, no matter how many people have spent money, will get that amount of money. I mean, each track will get that amount of money. So that's pretty cool. Their goal is to sell 1000 shirts with the industry matching 30, 30 or more dollars per shirt. That means that each shirt order will generate at least $50 going to the track to help them reach their goal of 50,000 to help keep tracks in business. Now they've already surpassed our goal, but this doesn't mean it stops. We keep on going, we keep supporting, and this helps out our tracks around the world. So go to the website. I actually have to buy one of the No Name RC for the No Name RC podcast. I will later on this week. Um, so it's a really cool incentive. It's really good to see the RC community coming together like this. And imagine if we could all come together on lots of other things, not just in RC, how good things can be. So kudos to Live RC and all the companies involved in this. It is, it's awesome to see. It's really good. Now, Australian nationals. Now, there was a race in Australia, the Australian Nats. Apparently in Australia, the law was they cannot have groups over 500. So it was way less than 500. It was maybe 80 people at this race. So the Australian Nats is a little bit different. I don't understand how it really works, but this first race was held in Melbourne. And if you know anything about Australia, it's really big. So I've, I have we have some drivers in Australia, Aaron Dexter, uh, Braden Johnson, a whole bunch of <clears throat> JQ racers that I communicate with through Replay Hobbies. So I up to Replay Hobbies. Uh, so I kind of have been learning about Australia. And you know, I'm obsessed with the thylacine. Australia is really big. So these guys fly, flew. They live on the west of Australia. So the Dexters and Johnson, they made the trip to Melbourne to race this past weekend. Now... Kyle McBride was going for a 10 times Australian champion, but nipping at his heels was the young Alex Bernad Bernadzik, Bernardzik, Barnardzik. I think I got it right. I know one of the Australian guys is going to correct me, but this young racer, Alex, has really come on lately. He's really fast. He's, he's nipping at the heels of Kyle McBride, and he didn't disappoint. He actually TQ'd this. He started second after the semis, and he gave McBride a run for his money in the 60-minute final. But McBride's experience would overcome, and he ended up winning, making him 10-time Australian champion. Alex came in second, driving an AE, and of course, the thylacine driving a JQ in third. And the thylacine did really well all weekend. He, he qualified third, started third, and kudos to Aaron Dexter for making the uh, for ma making the podium and actually the whole family his dad and his brother were in the final so it's pretty cool the whole Dexter family is a really great family I got to meet them at RCGP so yeah we had some racing that's about all the big racing that we had this week I think that's it there's not going to be any racing anytime soon as it looks like everything is shutting down so congratulations to Kyle McBride 10 time champ Alex and of course Aaron Dexter Team JQ, and I'm you know I'm gonna be a little bit biased towards that because I'm JQ all the way. A lot of thing, another thing that I've seen happen is the emergence of more VRC and RC. Now that we can't race, people are really getting into VRC. The only problem is nobody can get the dongles at the moment. Not until next month, I believe. So there's been some groups formed. Toby Hansen, the Toby Meister. Check out his blog. He's also been on the podcast. He started a group called the VRC Pro 46 RC Racers Facebook page. You can go to there. Gary Crowell Jr. has started an RCGP Facebook page and he's a uh, RCGP group on VRC. Scott Walker has also started a group. So the community and VRC is coming together and racing because this is the closest thing we have to RC. So it's pretty cool. I, I myself have to find some time to get one, get some practice. People may not say RC, it doesn't work, but I'll tell you what, man. I honestly think VRC helps you out, and it's a good way to keep your RC skills in check. Race with your friends, banter. You just aren't physically at the track. So check it out. If you don't, if you have VRC, let's uh, join up. Join some of these groups, and let's get some racing going. I predict this is going to get really popular over the next few weeks. It's already, already gaining a lot of popularity. So kudos to everybody that is participate in i know it isn't real rc but hey man what can we do we have to do something so product news for this week 
Two companies are releasing new buggies. Let's start out with Associated. So the Associated has releasing or is releasing the RC8 B3.2 kit. This is the new eight scale platform for Associated. So let's listen to what Associated has to say. The engineers of Area 51 Design Works focused on key components that improve durability, accelerated maintenance, and expanded upon its race-winning heritage within the RCB, RC8 B3 platform. An all-new suspension arm design features bottom-loaded inserts to adjust flex characteristics. The rear suspension arm has been increased while reducing the arm mount width to improve performance in all conditions. A four-piece center bulkhead allows for easier access to the center diff making adjustments even faster. All new radio tray design features an enclosed battery box, a larger receiver box, integrated switch and transponder mounting, and adjustable flex configurations. Updated shock caps. Now this is what I like. Up updated shock caps that allow you to run the RCB 3.2 with the included new stiff bladders, standard bladders, or as a million emotion shocks with no bladders, all with the same cap. The RC8 B3 platform was born with Team Associated, championed by Design Heritage, and the RC8 B3.2 plans to continue dominating the 8-scale off-road racing scene. If you want to know more about this, you can go to AssociateElectrics.com and check it out. I will post links to this in the uh, description for this RC News episode. So it looks like AE's come out. They've uh, added some, I guess, carbon fiber stiffeners. They've gone, looks like they're going to a wider, a narrower, wider, longer arms, rear arms, narrow pivot, narrow pivot, which seems to be the in thing right now. I remember Joseph talking about it and explaining it, explaining all about this in one of his Facebook lives. I don't have the, that Facebook live number on hand, but you can go check it out. And they have a list of other, other options and other things that they've done, but you can go check that out on their website. I will post the links in this description. Next up is the new S-Works 8-scale buggy called the S35-4. It's based on the old platform, the S35-3. It features a new suspension geometry providing optimized corner speed combined with an easy handling and maximum traction. The S35-4 features a hard anodized 77 aluminum wide style chassis, long term tested by the factory drivers to guarantee the best performance. The side guards were redesigned to fit the new chassis shape. All new HET diffs offering more traction than the old diffs. The S35-4 comes with lower front and rear shock towers while the shock design fit new optimized layout. The new shock spring cups will secure the spring doesn't get lost anymore. The steering geometry includes the new Ackerman and steering plates giving a perfect feeling and overall control of the new S35-4. The toe end plates are now fitted with square inserts to adjust the the geometry to every track layout and track condition. The front and rear lower arms are made of a new de newly developed composite material that match the new chassis geometry. The new lightened wing allows to adjust the angle of the wing to give you perfect balance on any track. Together with the optimized new body, the aerodynamic system is working perfectly together. The S35-4 comes with the all new rear hub made of a composite material and combined with carbon fiber plates. It allows many setups. As always, the S-Works R&D team are focused on using materials corresponding to the highest quality standards when designing the car. You can go to S-Works and check out this. I'll also drop some links in the description for this. So have a look at it and check it out. It looks interesting. It's supposed to drop next month, I believe. So we'll see. Kudos to S-Works, always pushing the envelope and developing new stuff. Also, something that personally is, I like, uh, that I caught my eye this week, and it's not, um, it's not actually <clears throat> offer related, but it's no prep RC drag racing. Now you guys know I'm really in love with the Nova body, but J Concepts, man, they just dropped the 1955 Chevy Bel Air drag eliminator body. Now, I don't know. I asked, I'm going to start a poll on the on the Facebook page. What should I do to no prep? Should it be the Nova, which I really want, but I really like this new Chevy 1955 Bell Air Body. So I don't know what I'm going to do. It looks so bad. It's it, It's got a hood scoop. It's, I love it. So I don't know. It's a toss up. But 
no prep drag racing, man. It's it's taking over RC. It's getting real popular. I love it. Thanks to people like Tim Smith, Tyler Zavadil, and all the guys that are racing. It's awesome. It's great to see J Concepts uh, putting. They, they've got plenty of bodies, but they're they're they've been into this for a while. And this body fits all short course. This basically people are taking short course trucks and changing them to uh, no prep drag cars. So that's that's pretty cool. I, I like that. And I'll be, uh, it's going to be between minds what I get. So kudos to that. I mean, it's been a crazy week. It's a crazy time in the world at the moment. So I know things are a little different, but it's been cool. I watched Jason Rona do a Facebook live of sorting out hub shims the other day. And it lasted three hours and it was pretty popular. Jackson Brunson was on Facebook yesterday. It was pretty popular. So this is a great time to start communicating if you're, your local drivers and we all come together. We can't really get together and race, but we can bench race via Facebook Live and other platforms. I know Joseph and I are planning to do a, a Facebook Live podcast. I guess we're going to be, it's just probably just going to be me on camera. And then we will be taking questions from the chat as well as call-ins. So we're planning that probably later on this week. And all the content providers, all the content providers are busy making podcasts, making videos to so support them because it's not easy to make content when there isn't much content out there. So thank you for all the support. We appreciate it. Remember, Nitro is the glory. E-Buggy pays the bills. If I missed out some news, I'm sorry. Remember, if you ain't grinding, you're sliding. Stay safe. Stay inside. Wash your hands. And... Let's uh, keep coming together to get past this, these trying times in the world. RC is cool. We'll be back racing soon. I can't wait. Can't wait to see races and can't wait to talk about them. So, Lefty out.